What is up everybody? It is your boy Shane here with Waiting to be Seen. I'm so glad to see you today. I've got a top tip, just one. It's gonna be nice and quick, but it has the potential to be a game changer for you. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. This is how we do it. Look, I know saying something's going to be a game changer is a bit of a, uh, bit of a brave thing to do, right? But I, I believe it, I really do. Because Instagram, Facebook, when people are watching videos on those platforms, for example, they're scrolling through right on their, their phones. You stop the scroll mostly if there's some kind of text that comes up with the video. People will start to read the captions and they'll actually stop and they'll see, oh, is this gonna be something I'm interested in? And then if it is, they'll continue watching past the three second window or maybe even unmute it so that they can listen to it as well. So having those kind of things included in videos is important in today's social media environment. But I was having a look just because I wanted to research how do other people do it. There are plenty of tutorials on how to get the black box behind your text. I think the most common one is to type in your text and then literally create a black box around your text. Now, if you're doing some kind of subtitling, that can be really intense. There is a faster way. That's why I am confident that if you do these kind of uh, t text boxes, this is game changing for you. If you don't already do it, it's game changing. So let's get started. I'm gonna, I've already got my timeline open. I've dropped in a video from last week and I'm just gonna drop some text on top. So I come down here, there you go, text tool. Let me say caps lock on. Shane is, no, I won't say all. <laughs> Shane is walking. All right. That in and of itself is okay. It's not horrible, it's not bad or whatever. But if I come up into graphics, once you're in graphics, then you can start to really manipulate how your visuals look in this instance. So let's come up to edit, okay? And you can see under edit, it's got the text box there. Shane is walking. So that's what we've just created. If I click on that and then click on Shane is walking under the edit box, you can see all of the functions have come up down below. Now, because I've already been playing around a little bit, some things like the font, the text font is already a font that I like using. Maybe I'll just increase it. Let's say I'll go up to 200. Let's make it center justified because that always looks nice. Let's horizontal and vertically align it. Beautiful. At this point, lots and lots of people on YouTube are saying we'll create a box and you'll kind of lay it behind it. It's not necessary. This is all you need to do. Come down to appearance. It's current, you can see the fill at the moment. I can change it to whatever color I need to and it will change it. Two check boxes below that is background. So click on background. Look at that. Immediately there is a text box. It might not look exactly like this when you first click on background because I do this, it remembers the last option that I had. But you can really just play around with it as much as you like. So let's say, for example, we only want it to be 50. You can see it's now shrunk. It, it's now not as not giving as much space around the text. If you go even, even less, let's go down to 20. It's really hugging the text now, but maybe you'll want to go up to 200. It's right there. It's right there in the graphics panel. It's just that's how easy it is. Maybe I want to make it just a little bit uh, a little bit transparent so I can see through it So let's maybe make it 80% now that I've got this text box with all of these elements created Let's say I have speech. I just play along for a little bit if I extend it out play along a little bit and then Control K which creates that uh, that break and creates a new text box that'll that'll do first one It says Shane is walking if I click on the second box now Make sure I've still got my text highlighted. If I then say, is Shane? Go to the next box and say, yes, he is the. <laughs> if I play through, Shane is walking. Is Shane? Yes, he is the. Every one of those text boxes has the background relative to the size of the text. It's a rubber band around the size of your text. If I just hit enter, zer, okay. So you can see even with a second line, it's then created the space. And that is, it really is that simple. I, I told you it was gonna be really simple. No more creating text boxes behind your text. You just use the graphics panel, 
go down to appearance, click on background and make it as large or as small as you need it to be for your project. And with that being said, I think I'm all done as well. If you've enjoyed today's top tip, give me a thumbs up. And if you think that videos such as this one are useful, then do me a solid, consider subscribing to my channel today. Click on the big red subscribe button down below, click on the notification bell right alongside that and join the notification squad and YouTube. They'll do the rest. They will let you know as soon as my latest content is available. I love making media and I, I love being able to help equip others with tools and the tips and the tricks that can make you a better content creator as well. So yeah. Join me for the journey. I'd love to have you on board. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. This is Shane for Waiting to be Seen. I hope your Friday is fantastic. I hope the weekend looks good here in Sydney. It's, it's a long weekend, which is good, but it's the start of daylight savings, which is boo, we lose an hour's sleep. I mean, come on, come on. Why would they do that on the long weekend? Whose idea was that? I look forward to seeing you for even more content here at Waiting to be Seen. Bye guys. That's gonna leave a mark. What?